is an average kid that no one understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. the night of the big Chip Skylark concert. And here's his new hit song, My Shiny Teeth and Me. When I'm feeling <laughs> lonely, oh. sad as I can be. Chip Skylark? That lame pretty boy dork singer? He stinks! Does not! I wish Chip Skylark was around when I had a band. We'd have rocked out loud! Did you know I used to play the electric triangle? But your band stunk! <laughs> but with Chip, we wouldn't have. Isn't there something special you want to say to me? Considering what day it is? Yeah, pipe down so I can jam to this awesome chip song! Ah! Thank you, Karma. I can't wait to see what Mom made me for my special birthday dinner. Cookies for dinner? With our phone number on them. Sure. Tonight's the night of the Chip Skylark concert. Your mom and I are gonna throw these to Chip while he's on stage. And maybe he'll call us and offer to be your big brother. You guys are going to the concert tonight of all nights? What's so special about Chip Skylark? Open your eyes, son. That team's delicious. <laughs> Good gosh, son. We have a special surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? What? It's Vicky. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. Hello, kid who's not Chip Skylark. She's being paid quadruple to babysit so we can go to the Chip Skylark concert tonight. And there's extra money in there so you kids can watch the concert on pay-per-view. Have a fun, chip-filled night. Welcome to Chip Watch Tonight. I'm your host, Chet, you betcha. And we're mere hours away from the live broadcast of the Big Chip Skylark concert. Move it, twerp! It's pay-per-view, which means if I don't view, then someone's gonna pay! Are you okay, not Chip? Everybody forgot about my birthday because of Chip stinking Skylark! Hey, it's not his fault he turned out so delicious. Mmm! Yeah, well, you know what I wish? I wish something bad would happen to him. Okay, but you just can't wish him maimed. Okay, then, I wish... Or injured. Then... Or beaten. Hmm. Or dead. Fine. I wish that the worst possible non-lethal thing would happen to Chip Skylark right now! <laughs> Who in their right mind would think of interrupting me when I'm about to watch Teen Singing Sensei? Chip Skylark? Ah! Hi. I was just in a non-lethal accident in my record company's car. All of a sudden, I hit this tree that seemed to pop out of nowhere. Totally weird. The album comes out July 24th. Can I use your phone? Sure. Use my special phone. Awesome. Tuesday's applesauce day. Even unconscious, he's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Ha! The worst possible thing that could happen to Chip is if he's stuck here with Vicky like me. Mm -hmm. Do you like this one that makes me look like Mrs. Chip Skylark, or this one that makes me look like Mrs. Chip Skylark? I really don't think it matters. I think you'll make a great Mrs. Skylark. Mrs. Skylark? Ah, I love you, 
love you, Chip Skylark. I'm gonna call all my friends and invite them to the wedding. <sighs> First, I gotta find some friends. <sighs> another day, another wackadoo holding me against my will. Hi, Chip. I'm Timmy, having a cruddy day like me. Aw, uh, the only cruddy day I ever have is a day when I disappoint my fans. W wait, 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 wait. I didn't disappoint you, did I? Because of you, your fame, and your stupid concert, everybody forgot today was my birthday! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, little guy. Reach into my coat pocket. I've got something that might make it up to you. Oh my gosh! It's the brand new Crash Nebula action figure! Set spacers to fun! Happy birthday, Timmy. This hasn't even been released yet! How'd you get it? I got it as a gift from the record company. Today's my birthday, too. Really? Yeah. What a jerk! Yeah, but they scheduled my concert on my birthday, so I haven't even had a chance to celebrate it. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to be famous. And talented. And delicious! What? Uh, my dad said that. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'd have laughed harder, but these chains are crushing my lungs. Sorry, Chip. Oh, that's all right, little pal. <coughs> it's not like you wished for this to happen. Wow, I thought Chip would be a big jerk because he's a big star. But he's not such a bad guy after all. I wish Chip was free and out of Vicky's clutches. Oh, great. The one not working noise. What's wrong? Well, you know how the rules say we can't use our magic to destroy true love? So? Hello, my love, who I truly love with all the love in my heart. Love. Oh. You can watch this while I find someone who will perform a marriage ceremony between a crazed fan and a celebrity teen hostage. To the internet! It's a scene of mass chaos here at the Dimsdale Dimmer Dome, where everyone is angrily asking the same question. Where is Chip Skylark? If Chip doesn't show up, I'm gonna punish our child for no reason. Jimmy, if you're watching this, run! Oh no, fans! Hundreds of them! Disappointed! My fault. Guilt is growing. Teeth are becoming less shiny. Hair losing sheen. Oh, man! I've got to get Chip to the concert before all those women and my dad tear the town apart! You and I have to get Chip out of here. Cosmo, you got to get to the concert and stall by any means necessary. Cool! I'm going to get my old bed. For Chip Skylark. Yeah! Well, he's not here yet. Instead, please put your hands together for your opening act on the pen flute. Pen! And on drums, Santa! You better watch out. And on the organ, Beethoven! What? What? And I'm Cosmo, and together we're the fairies! Uh. Feel better? Yeah, I didn't have to go to the bathroom, but the sound of flushing calms me down. I'm sorry you have to spend your birthday with Vicky. Oh, that's okay, little pal. You have to spend every day with her. I'm just here till she snaps or the SWAT team arrives. That's Vicky for you. Icky with a V. Hey, Icky, Vicky. I could write a song about that. Icky, Vicky, Icky, Vicky, Icky, Vicky. Vicky. I was totally wrong about you, Chip. Just because you're rich and famous doesn't mean you're a jerk. Actually, I'm not all that rich. The record company pays for everything. I'm broke. But if the fans knew that, they might not love me anymore. But neither would Vicky. Well, there's that. She wouldn't love you anymore. Hi, Chip Darling! Look who I found on the internet! The only justice of the peace on Earth will marry someone against their will! When Vicky finds out that Chip's not rich, she won't love him anymore. Yeah, but how do we let Vicky know? We are gathered here today to forcibly bond these two teens against their will. Is there anyone here besides the groom who has a reason these two should not be wed? He does! Oh my gosh, 
It's the guy from the record company. Thanks for the tip, pink-haired mystery woman. I represent Chip's record company. Since you're going to be Chip Skylark's wife, you get Chip Skylark's debts. This is for the car, this is his cell bill, uh, this is for the pager, and this is for, uh, well, everything else. Six million bucks? A chip? I thought you were rich! Nope, he's just pretty and talented. No! You broke loser creep! I don't love you! This wedding is off! Nerd! to the concert in time. Here you go, Chip. Use this. Let him know you're on your way. Thanks, little dude. The album comes out on July 24th. I wish we were at the concert! Halt, liebe Bluten Schweine! Stay back! Hey, they like us. They really like us. That's me! Are you ready to rock? Yeah! Then get ready for... Chip Skylar! Huh? What? Dude, how'd we get here so fast? Uh, the power of music? Rock on! Hit it! So, so icky, just the thought of being around you makes me oh so sicky. Hey, Vicky, won't you please explain why you get so much enjoyment out of causing kids pain? Oh, oh, oh! A chick who's just plain mean, a sour sweet 16. She's a fire-breathing dragon in a pair of black jeans. Yeah! Don't worry about forgetting that my birthday was today, Mom and Dad. It's okay. <laughs> what? Forgot your birthday? We'd never forget your birthday, Tommy. Your birthday is until tomorrow. What? Happy, Happy almost, almost birthday, birthday, Timmy. Timmy. Yeah! Hey, Vicky, won't you tell us true? How we ever get the bad luck to be stuck with you? Oh, Vicky, can we say one thing? It's your super total yuckiness that makes us want to sing. Vicky, Vicky. Problem. Over. And that's why I'm scared of the big ramp. So you and your friends pay to fall on your face at the skateboard park? <laughs> ah! Someone's coming quick. I wish you guys were my skateboard gear. Ah! His whole face hit at the same time. He must be really good. Does your dentist buy you tickets to this place? Yeah. Why? Darn it. All right, you guys, watch and learn. I like to learn. Wow! Wow! I've never been this good before. Well, sweetie, you've never had magic skate gear before. Wow, look at Timmy roll nimbly back and forth. I mean, shred. Here doesn't mean you get to bounce off our heads. Actually, 
actually twerp, it makes me queen of the skate park. And as queen, I decree, you must be at least this tall to ride this ramp! That's not fair! So, what are you gonna do about it? I challenge you to a skateboarding contest tomorrow! And whoever wins gets to be the new queen! King. Good catch. Deal. But tomorrow, when I kick your butt on all three ramps, you and every other punk under 16 is banished from the skate park for good! See you on the big ramp, squirt! You're gonna have to skate the big ramp? Aren't you scared? A little. But with you guys helping me, I've got nothing to worry about. Uh... Oh, no! Not the group, uh! That's usually followed by bad news, like... Uh... According to the rules, we can't help you win a contest, Timmy. That'd be cheating. We can help you show off, but for fun, not profit. I never would have challenged Vicky if I had known that. All the kids are counting on me. I still have a shot, though, right? Actually, you're pretty uncoordinated. I am not! Ugh. What you need is some death-defying trick all your own. Timmy, what you need is some death-defying trick all your own. You need this. It combines a 1,400-degree turn with four aerial flips. I call it the 1,400-degree and four aerial flippy trick. Yeah, that rolls off the tongue, Poindexter. What about calling it the Timmy Tuck? Oh, darn it. Call it impossible. I can't do this. But I can. I can't wait to totally steal that trick and make it mine. <laughs> it's good to be queen. He's not very good, is he? Nope, but this garbage rocks! I'll never get good enough in time to do that trick. I know you guys can't help me cheat, but can't you train me? You know, take me someplace I can get real good real fast? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Zero gravity is perfect for practicing spins! Houston, we have another problem. Over. It's always problem, problem, problem with you guys. Don't you ever call just to say hi? Over. Jungle is a great way to learn how to swerve. Learn to skate in difficult environments, you must. Because scared of gorillas, am I? Ramping down a pyramid is a great way to learn how to pick up speed. Yeah! Heavens, this specimen is perfectly preserved. Do you mind? I'm still using this. Ah, the mummy's cursed! Oh, man. I'm still beefing it on the simplest of tricks. Don't worry, Timmy. Win or lose, your friends will still love you. Really? Timmy better win, or we're not gonna love him anymore. Welcome to the skate park and the big skateboarding contest. Today's the big match between evil 16-year-old babysitter skate punk, Vicky. And Timmy! Out. I win by default, and you know what that means! Where could he be? Oh man, if I go down there, I'm gonna lose and have to go on the big ramp. There's no way I'm gonna humiliate myself. No way! All right, twerps, line up! Say bye-bye! Do it the old fashioned way by being better than me. It's Timmy! Yay! Good luck, Timmy! Thanks, guys. I'll do my best. Yeah, just remember it's not whether you win or lose, it's win or we don't ever get to come back here again. Ooh. Break a leg, twerp. Thanks, V. 
Mickey? No, really. I mean, break a leg! and you'll be the new queen. King! Whatever. I, Vicky, am about to do the totally original and completely mine trick, the Vicky Tuck! What? What? She stole your trick! Oh, this calls for some dramatic background music. Evil, which threw you off balance. Oh, that's super. You'll be going now. Oh, no. I won. I'm the queen now. King. Right. Give me that crown. Oh, you want this crown? You got a better chance of some loser 12-year-old wasteoid falling from the sky and plowing me into the ground. <laughs> Here you go. Excitement of teeth, 24 hours a day. Howdy, hey! This is Brad Cuspidor with teen singing sensation Chip Skylark. Here to talk about his awesome new hit song, My Shiny Teeth and Me. I'd be nothing without my teeth, which is why I dedicated a whole song to them. Yo, yo, yo! 
but aren't you worried about up-and-coming teen singing sensation Skip Sparky Pants? He's been living in your shadow for, like, ever! His pants may be sparky, but his teeth are weak. I heard that, yo! Yo, you wanna take that outside, yo? After you! I should have warned him. I'm a master of teeth food. Wow! Skip Sparky Pants sure is dissing Chip Skylark! Word! Chip rocks! Two words! Why is everybody getting their teeth clean today? Because everybody wants to be in Chip Skylark's video for his new song, My Shiny Teeth and Me! And only the kids with the shiniest teeth get to be in the video with him. Who's next? <laughs> Please rip my teeth out by the roots, Turner. I don't want my teeth yanked out. There's no reason to be coy. I'll be glad to rip your teeth out. And here to help me is my son, Wendell, and his Yanko Ripomatic. It yanks and rips. And now I'm going to get medieval on your mouth. You want my teeth? They're not perfect. Ooh, celebrity teeth I could yank and or rip out. You're all done. <laughs> Come on, Wendell. It's time to meet Mr. Chip Skylark and rip his teeth out. That's my boy. <laughs> Good night, teeth, who gleam like the morning sun. I sure would be devastated if anything happened to you guys. Late last night, Chip Skylark's teeth were stolen right out of his musical mouth. Bender, he must have gotten medieval on Chip's mouth. That's wiggity wiggity whack. What did he? What did he want? I'm Chet you betcha with toothless singing sensation Chip Skylark. <laughs> and some guy from the record company, sir, with Chip Skylark's teeth missing, will you be replacing him in the video? Of. Of course not. This is Chip Skylark's song. It's his vision. And nobody, I repeat, nobody could do it better than Chip Skylark. We're willing to wait until Chip gets his teeth back. But you've already spent 20 million dollars on the video. I'll do it for free. Meet the new Chip Skylark. Pelican, Pelican. What? There's a boy trapped in a well? This is Chet you betcha saying, I'm getting that boy out of the well. <laughs> I wish Chip's teeth were back in his mouth. According to the rules, teeth retrieval falls under the jurisdiction of the Tooth Fairy. We are powerless. Then there's only one choice. We've got to get the Tooth Fairy to help us. I'm sorry. I can't help you. But why? It's just I'm very busy and... I'll be right back. Ten-year-old jelly beans gets them every time. I can't just go and get teeth all willy-nilly. There are very specific and intricate supernatural laws that must be adhered to. Like what? Well, they gotta be under a pillow. But it's not just any teeth that were stolen. They were Chip Skylarks. Chip Skylark? <gasps> that changes everything! His teeth are my finest work. Who knows what evil someone could do with those teeth? Then you'll help us? Which is four words. Yes! Too busy. Up to you. I bequeath to you my most powerful toothpaste weaponry. 
These toothpaste bracelets, this magic floss of truth, this giant electric toothbrush, and these amazing indestructible braces! What's the tiara for? It hides your secret identity, and it matches! It's up to you, Timmy Turner. Save Chip Skylark's teeth, or I'll rot yours from the inside out! Oh my gosh! They're filming the video in an hour! It's up to me to get Chip's teeth back! You two stall that video by any means necessary! Let's get dental! 30 minutes, second-rate team singing sensation skip Sparky Pants. Word! Now's my chance to show that Sparky Pants beat shiny teeth any day, word! Yo! Come back with my Sparky Pants, yo! Gaze upon them, Wendell! The greatest teeth in the universe! And they're all mine! <laughs> teeth that perfect belong to the world, Dr. Bender! Who's that, Pop? I can't tell. The goofy teeth seem familiar, but the tiara has me baffled. But whoever you are, you'll never get these teeth! Chewing gum after meals actually help cut down plaque. The jury is out! Some dentists believe that, but we're not entirely sure. I gotta get out of here! Ha! You're trapped! And as soon as I remove that tiara, I'm going to figure out your identity. And yank! and or rip your teeth out. Can't let Bender get these teeth! A pillow! Right! There's no escaping me, buck tooth tooth theme superhero! I... Just a quarter? No! Oh. Oh. Well, skip Sparky Pantless and Chip's Shiny Toothless. We're going to have to cancel the big video shoot. Twenty million dollars! You! You're the next Chip Skylark! Oh, goody! Not so fast! Who's that? My money, my money, money! Chip, I believe these are yours! You've got a video to shoot. Thanks, Timmy. You're the best. Word. Don't say that. Come on, everybody. Let's film a video about teeth. Action, baby! When I'm feeling lonely, sad as I can be, by myself in uncharted island in an endless sea. What makes me happy fills me up with glee. Those bones in my jaw that don't have a flaw, my shiny teeth in me. My shiny teeth that twinkle just like the stars in space. My shiny teeth that sparkle and beauty to my face. My shiny teeth that glisten just like the Christmas tree. They walk a mile just to see me smile. Woo! Shiny teeth and me. Yes, they're all so perfect. So white and pearly. Brush gargle rinse a couple of breath mints. My shiny teeth and me. My shiny teeth so awesome. Just like your favorite song. My shiny teeth that blossom. So they grow to be real strong. My shiny teeth I love them. Shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth and me.
shouldn't have replaced the steering wheel with horse reins either, but safety's for yellow bellies! Yeehaw! Giddy up! Your dad sure is excited about taking you on this Squirrely Scout's field trip! He's dragging us to the place he went when he was a Squirrely Scout. Dimsdale Flats! Dimsdale's Wild West Heritage! This is gonna be great! Just me and my son! And all those other kids! We're here! Whoa, trusty steed! Ooh, the birthplace of Dimsdale, Dimsdale Flats! Abandoned and empty, just like my childhood! This street right here was home to each and every one of your forefathers. I have four fathers? I thought I was lucky to have one! This is the greatest day of my life! Wow! And this is the legendary Masked Stranger, Dimsdale's handsome and mysterious Lone Ranger of Justice! Wow! This is even more boring than I thought it would be. Maybe we'll get our bored to death badge. This place stinks! If I owned this place, I'd have torn it down and replaced it with a mini mall by now. <laughs> Don't say that! They'd never tear down my most cherished childhood memory. And how do you explain that line of bulldozers from the tearing down your most cherished childhood memories construction company? No! <laughs> our scoutmaster has fallen! Squirrely Scouts First Aid! Is that how the manual said to treat emotional pain? Ah! Nobody leaves the manual! Howdy, partners! Dog Dimidome! Dog Dimidome? That's right. Doug Dimino, billionaire, real estate tycoon, and destroyer of cherished childhood dreams like yours. What are you doing here? Well, everybody knows the deed to Dimsdale Flats was lost 120 years ago. That means this land is up for grabs. And I'm gonna grab it, tear it to pieces, and build me the world's largest mini mall. A maxi mini mall? A maxi mini mall. Yay! Not yay. Not yay? Not yay. Not yay. My dad, your scoutmaster, loves this place. And according to the Squirrely Scouts manual, a Squirrely Scout always stands up for his scoutmaster. It's not in the manual. Did you read the manual? Nobody reads the manual. Then it's in the manual. We're gonna stand up for our rights. Well, I've got a great place for you to stand. You're throwing us in jail? Oh, don't think of it as jail. Think of it as a rustic daycare center with big iron bars. Adios, I got me some childhood memories to destroy, like yours. Hey, why does this jail still have a coyote-shaped dog door? Because fate is cruel! Ah! It's okay, Dad. We'll figure out a way to save this place and your childhood memories. <laughs> you have a plan? Yeah, but it's pretty complicated. I wish I had the lost deed. Timmy, we don't know where the deed is. We're fairies, not psychics. I can't even read my own mind. Nope, nothing. Well, can you make me a fake deed? Sorry, Timmy. According to the rules, that'd be falsifying documents. Uh, what are they gonna do? Throw him in jail? Oh, great. You read your manual. Fine. I'll find the lost deed myself. I wish we were back in Dimsdale Flats 120 years ago. <laughs> I mean, tarnish! 
station. We're in the old west. I mean the current west. And look, it's Chester and AJ's ancestors. What in the name of Hootin' Nanny do you call this contraption? It's an amazing device of my own invention that's gonna revolutionize the way you all live. It's called a home computer. Giddy up! <laughs> If you do your homework, keep track of your stock portfolio, and make your lives easier. Y'all got a parcel. How does one operate this device, partner? All you have to do is read the manual. A manual? Reading's for yellow bellies. Let's go over there and not read, like real men. And stay out! That voice. She's a heartless evil witch. Hey, you can't just boss us around like that. I reckon I can. Because I'm a babysitting all you varmints. And since this here is a dirt poor town, your parents had to pay me with this. It's the deed to Dimsdale Flats. Somebody should do something. If only there were some sort of pink-hatted symbol of justice to bring some justice back into this lawless, justiceless town. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That pink and justice don't really go together? Well, that too. But I wish... Ah! <laughs> ah, it's good to be the lawlessness. Vicky the Kid? I'm calling you out! Who's the dead twerp that said that? I did! The Masked Stranger! And I am his trusty Native American sidekick, Dances with Wands! And let's give a big Western welcome to my trusty steed! Cuz! Moo! You're supposed to be his trusty steed! Steed? I thought he said steer. Still nothing. The deed to Dimsdale Flats don't belong to you, and you're gonna give it back. One, two, draw! Ha! Paper covers rock. Best two out of three. Go for it. One, two, pow! Scissors cut paper! Forgotten old deed free town. Tear it down and to the ground. Now while I'm around, the, the masked stranger. stranger. It's the guys! They escaped! 
Way to go, Chester. Your braces made a great pickaxe to help us tunnel out of that cell. And your buddy made the most marvelous shield to keep the coyotes away from us. I'll take my eating by coyotes badge now. Well, that's all fine and dandy, son, but unless you somehow magically obtain that deed, this land is mine. Actually, it's mine. Because I found the deed in the one place nobody in the Old West would ever look. It was in an old computer manual. Dag nabbit, nobody ever reads the manuals. The deed is mine, and I'm going to give it to the one man I know will take care of this place the way it deserves to be taken care of. My dad. Thanks, partner. You've given me the town that represents everything that was good and wonderful about my childhood. I'll give you eight bucks for it. Sold! What? Being eaten by coyotes and locked in a jail made me realize my childhood stunk. Style up, boys! This town's going down! Why so glum, partner? I thought I'd be a hero if I saved the town for you. <laughs> you are a hero, Timmy. You've made me eight bucks richer. So here. A sheriff badge? I crossed off the word sheriff and wrote new words. It's your I made my dad richer badge. Thanks, partner. But I keep thinking that maybe, just maybe, we forgot something. And now you're going to get your beaten by a Chester badge. Bring it on, Wiley! <laughs> Wait till my forefathers hear about this! 